Well, thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. I'm Jamie Worsley. And I'm Carla Heath Sands. New at 5, the family of the 23-year-old who was recovered from the Flint River Monday is speaking out for the first time. Cameron Jones went missing February 26 after witnesses say they saw him jump into the river. It took search crews two weeks to finally recover his body. WALB News 10's Lena Allen spoke with the family about what led up to his death. He was tired of, of, of dealing with uh, the mental issues that he had. After witnesses say Cameron Jones jumped into the river on February 26th, a week later his body was finally recovered. His family telling me his death was an end result of generational trauma that had taken its toll on the 23-year-old for years. At 18 months he was separated from his mom. They were. Right? At the age of seven, he was separated from his mom again. At the age of 12, he lost his mom, tragically. But that's not all. Cameron's twin brother, Micardo Jones, took his life the same way in 2020, while Cameron was serving in the Navy. That you know, took a toll on him because there was identical twins. Uh, they loved it one another. You saw one, you saw the other. While the family says Cameron's twin brother showed signs of mental health struggles throughout his life and left a suicide note, they tell me Cameron's only sign of mental health issues was when he texted his aunt the same day he died. He said, Auntie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to leave you already. You'll find my things at Turtle Park. Cameron leaves behind not only his extended family, but a four-year-old daughter. What is the last thing that you said to your son? Uh, the last thing I said to him was, I love him. Um, I called him that Sunday. Uh, he was just leaving the park with his baby. <laughs> Next on WALB News 10 at 6, I'll share how the family is using Cameron's story as a way to help other people in need. Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.